Hi, today I will show you a tutorial about how to read data from a text file using X and Grace and how to plot that data in X and Grace. Before we get started, let's look at the data that we have. Um, so in this particular data file, it is a, a text file. You can also import data from other file formats like the .dat file, for example. Um, so coming back here, uh, the first column here is basically just a number and the second column is twice of the number in the first column. The idea is to plot a simple line plot with the data in the first column as the x-axis and um, the data in the second column being shown on the y-axis. So before we do that, um, we can open X and Grace from command line by typing X and Grace and pressing an enter button. And here we go. This is the X and Grace window. This is how it looks like. So there are two ways to open the data that you have. One is you can go to data and select import, click on ASCII. And if you look at this filter, it is basically searching for all the files that end with .dat. But our file does not end with that. So just remove that extension and press enter. And that shows our file data.txt. So select that and just click OK. And then close this. Do not click OK again, because that will kind of mess things up. Just close it. and. Here you go. Um, we have our data as a straight line. Now let me close this. That is how we read the data from a file using the graphical user interface of X and Grace. We can directly open the data with the command line with X and Grace hyphen nxy data dot text. So what this does is this basically reads the data in the first column to be represented on the x axis and the one in the second column to be represented on the y axis. So if you have more than two columns, all the data that is in the columns uh, two, three, four, and so on will be represented uh, on the y axis like different um, plots like different y versus x plots. Um, we don't need to worry about that because we only have one X and Y and one um, uh, Y axis in our case uh, because we only have two columns of data. So, okay, let's open it up. Um, here we go. Uh, we have our data neatly plotted. Uh, you can use the scroll bar to move up and down. Um, so here we have our data, but if you want to look at your data points, you can go to plot and select set appearance because that's where you set how your plot appears. If you can notice, we are in this particular uh, field, the main, and if you look at the symbol properties, it says none, which is why you don't see any symbol. So maybe you want to represent your data as circles. Select a circle and click apply. So you see your data this way. And if you don't want to see the line, go to the line properties and remove uh, the straight, change it to none and click apply. The line goes away. But if you do want to have the line, you can put it back and it comes back. And if you want to have it in a different color, um, just select it as red and click apply. If you have uh, noticed the moment I selected the line properties as red, this particular selection for the circle also turned to red. So go back and turn it to black if you want the circles to be in a different color and click on accept. So when you click on accept, basically the changes are applied and the window closes. Whereas when you click on apply, the changes are applied, but the pop-up window does not close. So here we have plotted our data well, uh, but some of the data points are lying on the axis and it may not be very ideal if you want to make sure your data points are very clear. So why don't we go to plot and go to axis properties. That's where we set the properties of the X and Y axis. So the start and stop points tell the, give the range of the X axis. So it goes from one to five. Maybe we can change it from 
zero um, to six and press apply. Then select Y axis, same thing, zero, maybe change it to 12. So here we go. This way we can change the axes um, and um, yeah, we can either uh, make it smaller or make it bigger. D depends on how much of the plot we want to show or how we want to show the plot and so on. So after you've made um, your changes, um, just press accept. Um, yay, here we have our first plot. So if you want to label your axes, I mean, a plot really doesn't make sense when the axes are not labeled. So why don't we go to plot and go to axes properties again. And if you see the Y axis is selected because that is what we accessed the last time. So this field here is for the axis label. So here we can type in the label string, which is the axis label for the Y axis. Why don't we just type, twice the number on, uh, or just twice the number, that should be fine. There you go. And go back to X axis and just type number. So you have given some name to the X axis and the Y axis, and you have your plot. If you want to save the plot, I mean, you've created a plot, that's all fine, but it's of no use if you cannot save it. So why don't we go here and click Save As. Um, the X and Grace plots are stored in the standard or, or saved in the standard .agr file format. So that is a format that can be opened using X and Grace and we can make edits to that plot and so on. And we can always save that uh, file as another uh, PDF or a PNG or a JPEG file. So um, it's looking here to see if there are any .agr files. We don't have any because we haven't saved any. And here is the selection. So we are in the directory. Uh, it opens up the directory from where you um, opened X and Grace using terminal. So you are in the directory and why don't you just give a name, maybe, um, line plot dot agr. Make sure you type in the extension. That's very important. And then click OK. Now that we have saved the agr, we, um, we, we do need agr because that's the original file. You open it, you make edits and so on. But if you want to print it or send it to someone uh, or you just want to open it in a readable format, put it in a PowerPoint presentation or something like that, you would need a PNG file or a JPEG file or a PDF. I personally recommend um, using a PDF file because um, that would be much more uh, beneficial in terms of the picture scalability. So why don't we go to file and try to get the PDF file and in order to do so, select the print setup option. And the device setup, it says the device, it's a PostScript. No, we, don't, we do not want a PostScript file, so select PDF. Um, the file name is line plot or PDF, perfect. And it saves in the same directory from where um, you opened X and Grace from your terminal. So that's all fine. And now the resolution is 300 DPI, perfect. Uh, and it says the size is letter. More often than not, we do not want a letter size or a standard size, but we want something that's custom made. So why don't we change this option here to custom? And I try to give the dimensions in inches and you can change uh, the values in these two columns. Uh, try to keep the resolution 300 because that's pretty good. If you are trying to generate a figure for a publication, um, the standard publication uh, files are 3.3 inches in wide. So maybe you just want to uh, type that in and click apply to see what happens. Clearly this doesn't, 3.3 uh, by 8.5 is a bad choice. So why don't we just reduce it to 3.5? It's still bad, so go to three, bad, um, maybe 2.5. Better, 2.5 is better. 
you can just play around with it to see how you want to save the file, the dimensions that you want and so on. Um, just select accept when you're done and remember to go click the print button. Okay, then you can close. And if you look at it here, we have the line plot PDF. So we have saved um, the X and Grace .agr file as a .pdf file. I hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful. In the next tutorial, I will be talking about how you can beautify your plots or like how you can um, make it look better, the, the fonts, the font sizes, or, or just the general appearance of a plot, how, how much space you're using, making sure you don't have too much white space in the background while you're saving a plot. If, if you have noticed, um, when we saved this plot, there was a lot of white space in the edges and ideally we do not want that. So I will be addressing all of these issues in my next tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this one.